Hello everyone. So let's move on to experiment number 3. Today I am going to perform a totally new experiment that is rate of reaction. Uh, you, you all know what is the definition of rate of reaction. Rate of reaction is change in concentration of reactant or product with time. So per unit time, how the rate is changing, I mean how the concentration of a reactant or the product varies, that is rate of reaction. Now in this experiment, we will be taking two solutions, sodium thiosulfate solution, which is 60 gram per liter, and the other one is hydrochloric acid, HCl, one molar solution. According to the equation you can see, we are mixing sodium thiosulfate with HCl. And we are getting NaCl, SO2 and H2O and very important thing, colloidal sulfur. So we are going to measure the time for formation of colloidal sulfur by changing the concentration of sodium thiosulfate. Now let's start with the experiment. To carry out this experiment, I have sodium thiosulfate solution, HCl solution and two measuring cylinders, one of 20, uh, 50 cc and the other is 10 cc. Now I have one uh, X mark on which I am going to keep the sodium thiosulfate solution and the time taken will be uh, done with the stop clock. Now from the top, when I just, uh, start viewing, the moment colloidal sulfur is formed, this X mark will disappear. So this is the experiment, let's start it. So here it is, 50 cc of sodium thiosulfate, which, which I have taken in the beaker. And this is 10 cc of HCl, the moment I add 10 cc of HCl, I will start the stop clock. And I am constantly watching whether the cross is disappearing or not. And here it goes. So the time taken is exactly 20 seconds and you can see I cannot see the cross. So I cannot see the cross anymore and this is the colloidal sulfur which is totally translucent. This way, the next experiment which I am going to carry out, where I take 40 cc of sodium thiosulfate and 10 cc of water. So now at this time, I take 40 cc of sodium thiosulfate and make the volume up to 50 cc. So to make the volume up to 50 cc, I am taking 10 cc of distilled water. So here I am adding 10 cc of distilled water and here it is 50 cc and I have taken a new beaker okay and in this I am keeping 10 cc of HCl also. Now again it is zero mark. Now I add this 40 plus 10, 40 cc of NS sodium thiosulfate and 10 cc of water and I add HCl and stop clock starts. Again I start beam from the top and I will carry on till the cross mark vanishes. Up to be 50 cc, and every time we are adding 10 uh, cc of HCl 
and we have to find out the time taken for that colloidal sulfur to be formed or time taken for the cross to be invisible. Observation table. You saw in the experiment how I changed the concentration of sodium thiosulfate. Initially, 50 cc of sodium thiosulfate was taken without adding water. And a volume of HCl every time we are adding is 10 cc and the time 20 seconds. In the next experiment, I took 40 cc of sodium thiosulfate and added 10 cc of water. So you can see it is diluting. And again, with a uh, cc of HCl, 25 seconds it took. With 30 cc of sodium thiosulfate, 20 cc of water was added. And 10 cc of HCl and time taken was 38 seconds. With 20 ml of sodium thiosulfate and 30 ml of water, on adding 10 ml of HCl, time taken was 45 seconds. Time taken for formation of chloride sulfur. And in the end, it was a very dynamic solution because 10 cc of sodium thiosulfate in which 40 cc of water was added and on adding HCl, it took at around 110 seconds for chloride sulfur to form. Now, after the table has been drawn and from these values, we will plot the graph. The graph will be versus so volume of sodium thiosulfate on in the y-axis and time on the x-axis. So here we have 10, 20, 30, 40 cc of sodium thiosulfate which was taken and time taken. So you can see I have plotted a graph for 50 cc, it is 20 seconds and so on and so forth. So this graph is a parabola. We have to draw a freehand parabola. Now one uh, important thing which uh, according to the question is we have to find out the time taken when 15 cc of sodium thiosulfate is taken. So from the graph, that is from the graph, so from the graph 15 cc of sodium thiosulfate for sodium thiosulfate the time taken is 58 seconds. The conclusion which we draw from this experiment is that as the concentration of sodium thiosulfate decreases time taken for chloride sulfur increases. That means the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration. As the concentration decreases, the rate of reaction also decreases and as the concentration of the thiosulfate increases, the rate of reaction also increases. Thank you.